All right, let's see if uh, this gun is the game changer we think it might be. Uh, this is a good event to test this out. Uh, it's just ghouls. So what we're looking for is when we use our ammo, we'll get the same amount of ammo in return. So we're going to keep a keep an eye on our on our ammo, and then when we pick up. Um, all the loot that the ghouls drop how much do we get back so we'll, we're going to keep track of that during this event and see if this is a game changer but i think we found our our gun especially let's see what all right so we got a decent amount of ammo you're getting ready to start the event and i like to um kind of cover the the inner speaker here um, on a spiritual journey toward transcendence. Let's see, we can get this covered. To appreciate your surroundings. And remember that you are in room elevation. And that reload animation. But that's okay. Um uh, Actually, she we probably should have went to the bridge or something like that, so she has more room to kind of maneuver. Okay, okay, yeah, got it. We got we got decent amount back. We got that uh, definitely hitting that um, really close to that kind of break even point. Uh, uh, you know, like the scorch that was there is a little bit um, tougher. And as you build your pillars of transcendence, you may find we'll see. yourself And we'll see about the ghouls for the rest of this event. And if we just gotta remember they they hit uh they hit us pretty hard, so we gotta kinda keep away from them as much as we can. <laughs> oh here they come, here they're coming for us. Uh, and so I'm kind of focusing and, and watching, but anytime uh, there's that big ammo change, I might not say it, but uh, in editing, I'll, I'll put an arrow or, or something around it so we can uh, we can all take a look. But this is doing pretty good, like. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of ammo uh, to get these ghouls down more than uh, more than it would if uh, <laughs> if we had uh, if we had some uh, perk cards on for this gun then uh, we'd be doing a lot more damage but we don't uh, so we're not doing as much and it is taking more bullets but I think this one is going to be a winner, 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 chicken dinner. Um, <laughs> uh, it's going to be a winner for this character, for, especially if we're just up against Scorch or Ghouls or just um, some more kind of low level uh, enemies that is not like real tanky. Um, this is this would just burn through the ammo at like Scorch Beast or something like that so we still need to find something different uh, for that event and um, I, I'd been thinking about it and I think um, it might be uh, a shotgun a shotgun might be the thing for the tankier enemies but we'll see um, a really good handmaid or a fixer that could also be be a thing. Uh, I just wish it was. I wish we could get one uh, kind of automatic. Uh, that way, she does a little bit more damage, uh, a little faster damage. Although it, you know, you do go through um, the more automatic and rapid fire your weapon is the more ammo you, you'll go through if you're not uh, 
trigger disciplined so if you're pretty trigger happy and uh, with this character I am a bit uh, trigger happy uh, or trigger sensitive because um, get that one um, <laughs> get the stim pack uh, it's because she doesn't have any armor and things like that. Well, oh. but uh, I, I do notice um, getting really good XP drops. And you know, also with the uh, ammo drops, if uh, your teammate kills something at an event, you're going to get um, a little bit of drop from uh, their kills also. So I am picking up. Um, extra more ammo than I normally would if I was alone doing this event uh, but that's kind of the point of being on the team right now is you know we're bumping our level up and um, you know we're trying to farm a little bit of ammo here although she's kind of oh uh, she's kind of been doing good herself here you know so not bad, not bad. Yeah, and we're doing really, really decent on, uh, on our ammo pickup. So this is pretty good. Um, so yeah, whether you're starting out or you're um, just a player that's noticed that you're burning through ammo and stuff like that, that's something that you might want to consider is trying a couple different weapons to make sure that um, your damage that you're doing and the ammo that you're using is breaking even with your ammo return. If it's not, then you need to look at like your perk card setup or even just the weapon type um because sometimes uh the weapon type can affect it but if you're really tied to a specific weapon then it's the perk cards that you need to look into but if you're not tied to that uh specific weapon then you can look at uh using other things oh I am I am thankful the the general is on today that and we can have this uh, this team so I can get some XP hopefully uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit closer a little bit closer to being able to uh, start looking at vendors uh, for a weapon although I can uh, vendor hop after this a little bit and see if anybody has any other um, 308s for sale. Uh, that could be a good idea. Because uh, I can invest in some of that. Because I do think uh, this slot machine gun is one that I'm going to keep for a while. And it is a heavy weapon. It's, or I guess it's considered a heavy weapon. Um, but it's not too weighty. And the ammo is not going to be too weighty. The 308s are, are not as weighty as um, how many uh, five millimeters that we would have to carry. So that is a good thing. So that event's over with. So I'm going to switch to this, uh, or I've already switched to this baseball bat. Uh, so we'll do cleanup with this so we're not wasting ammo but uh we actually ended this event with more ammo than we started so we got a really good um damage ammo ratio with this gun and this character especially on a team and uh if i wasn't on a team i'm fairly positive uh <laughs> I am fairly positive that we would have still uh, broke even with our ammo. We might not have gotten as much as we did, but
but we would have definitely broken broken even or broke even uh, with this one so that's a good thing and then we'll go to the the scrapping station over here and we'll scrap and and pick up a few more things along the way uh, so I don't I don't know if everybody's is uh, loot conscious as I am uh, but up here in the got to wait for the AP to regen um, but up here uh, there's usually some teddy bears but there's also so these wooden blocks and a pencil and all of those items contain lead um, so I always like go up there and pick it up unless somebody else has picked it up and then over by the the tinker station Uh, there's usually, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, a battery. There's usually a battery over there. Let me throw down my tent. This might help with this AP. This is, uh, <laughs> I think that's just the one thing I miss, uh, with my main character is having you know a lot more AP um, they still did oh, I did that at one point check the stats on her but I no idea I can't even remember we'll we'll do that at some point is like really check the stats and talk about um, the differences especially if I can remember to get a screenshot from my other characters that have perks to see how different uh, this character is in hit points, AP, etc, etc. So we can scrap up almost everything. Don't want to do that one. I do like uh, having room in my stash and being able to stash stuff. <laughs> on my main character sometimes I have to be a little bit more picky I end up dropping a lot of stuff um, but now that there's the uh, donation boxes um, all over the place now uh, it makes it easier to get rid of some things that I don't need I don't want that's just taking up space in my stash or weight um, so all of that I, I end up dropping a lot, a lot of stuff. And I always just imagine somebody coming behind me being like, oh, why'd they drop this? This is like a god roll legendary gun. Well, I didn't have room for it in my stash. I didn't need it, so it got dropped. <laughs> and I was probably scripted out for the day. So, uh... Yeah, if you see me and I, I'm just dropping uh, these really good legendaries left and right, then that's why I can't hold them. I don't need them. <laughs> and I want the room in my stash box for other things. So I'm, I'm doing a, like a kind of like a stash cleanup and management. Uh, very slowly and uh, it was going well uh, for a bit and then I hit some back-to-back -back events like radiation rumble eviction notice and picked up so much stuff and scripted out so quickly that I just have filled it back up and I always say the same thing it's like oh these are really good pieces. This is a really good weapon. I'll, I'll, I'll hang on to that. I can sell that in, you know, to a player. And I, I never do. I never remember um, what I have. So, I, so I'm just uh, trying to make a new mindset now. It's like if I don't need it, if 
I don't have room for my stash box, if I don't have a purpose for it within the next 10 days, it's got to go. <laughs> and sometimes that works and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> mm, nice. Good view. But I think they had... Oh, this is the general's camp. Um, I think they had some uh, things for sale. Of course, I'm looking for uh, some plans because we'll be doing a build. Uh, and we're looking for weapon mods, ammo, plans. Mostly just anything. Good stuff, good prices too. I like that. I like coming across good prices at vendors. But yeah, anyway. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really really happy about this light machine gun. I'm excited about it. I think we found our gun. Um, I might even rename it to Little Friend. I don't know. <laughs> I think that would be a good name for it. Oh. So, uh, I'll learn these real quick. Um, still need to pick up some recipes for her too. Uh, some of the more useful recipes. Now we got a fair amount, but there there's some others that are really good. Um, the ones I think I'm mainly going to be interested in are uh, ones that we don't really need recipes for, but that will give you that additional carry weight. Um, I think like um, Rad Stag or Roasted Ant, both of those give extra carry weight. Oh, so I want to get, drink a coffee while I'm doing this here. gets me it's another reason I vendor hop visit vendors like while I'm looking through what they have for sale um, I can take a sip of coffee it gives me a chance to do that <laughs> oh but no yeah this is this is fun this has been fun uh, we'll get we'll get her leveled up we'll do another event or two and then call it a day and then pick up and do her um, enclave build maybe and uh, get those uh, get those goals like set out and really defined uh, for this character because we got we got some stuff to accomplish we've accomplished a lot for a no armor no perk girl um, but there's still quite a bit more we we want to accomplish I think so I, I think I, I think I know the next uh, next little set of challenges we're gonna go through and it's gonna be fun <laughs> uh, uh, it'll be uh, those kind of challenges I like that's a real kind of grind uh, but we'll see we'll see all right. Well, uh, my thing is flashing at me, my, my uh, timer. So it's almost at that 20 minute mark. So I'll say uh, be safe out in the wasteland and hopefully I'll get this uploaded before too long. <laughs> and we'll get to the next part. All right. So thanks for watching. Love you guys.
Stay safe out there.